Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me in my workout today. Sometimes I've said that workouts uh, go really well when there's just, there's no drama and it just feels easy breezy, uh, not in the sense that the exercises feel easy, but that my brain isn't um, challenging them. So this workout would be the exact opposite. This workout was drama filled, drama fueled, just because I had to uh, kind of mentally tell myself to do this stuff with in every single situation. Anytime the reps started getting challenging, I had to kind of utilize that resource of motivational energy just to get myself to do stuff that typically I wouldn't need to even do that. I don't I don't typically need to be my own cheerleader during my workouts. It's just, I do it, I have to do it. I know the numbers I need to hit and I'm going to hit them. Um, but in this situation, it was really like a mind game, a mind, a mind F. So, uh, but I mean, I got her done and uh, I did hit all the numbers that I wanted to. And I'm happy with everything I did. It was just really mentally, mentally a little bit harder than some, than a lot of them. So please watch until the end. <clears throat> I wanted to tell you guys... I talked before in my video about the hopelessness of job searching and unfortunately a lot of people could relate which just you know kind of sucks for all of us but I saw a job posting that was somehow perfectly made for my eclectic mix of interests and experience and I mean oh my gosh y'all I want this so bad but I'll explain what it is. I'm sorry, it's going to be boring. <laughs> Actually, no, it won't be. Please watch until the end. <laughs> okay, so it's for what's called NIHB, which non-insured uh, benefit plan. And so the only job that I've ever been good at was when I was working call center for a benefits company. That was the only, only job um, I've ever been good at. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I was bad at the other ones, but that one was noticeably, I was good at it. So, uh, this is a benefits plan, but it's for First Nations, Inuit, Métis. It's a federal plan for First Nations. So, I would be in the call center uh, helping the First Nations who have inquiries about their benefits and claims. So, somehow that combines the job that I was really good at that I found interesting with all that courses that I took for Indigenous Canada and uh, and my desire to kind of work with the vulnerable populations and to help and all this kind of just, oh, it just combines everything, okay. <sighs> I really want it. I really, really want it. But what well, is, <clears throat> the worst part about it is that it's a federal position. You know, it's no easy feat getting hired with the government of Canada. So basically, my application is just going to go <clears throat> into like an inventory that may never be even looked at by a human being. And I mean, how it's not like I'll ever find this random combination of things ever again, like this is it. Uh, could say oh this is my dream job and I that's the first thing I thought oh my god this is my dream job but in that moment that also felt pretty good because it kind of meant <clears throat> that I was growing up a little bit to consider <laughs> working in a call center um for a government <laughs> for a government benefit plan is your dream job then I guess I've reached some level of maturity that I never realized <laughs> because if you had asked me not too long ago what's my dream job I would have said being a screenplay writer or, I mean, more more than that, I think I really would like to write episodes for Law & Order SVU just because I think I can make it so much better than it is. Their problem is lack of character development. They used to do really well with the character development and now they just, like, don't even care about that point. Uh, all they care about is uh, talking about... <laughs> their political opinions <laughs> via storytelling. Um, 
So I just think if I were thrown in there, I could make it so much better. But the, also the actors, they have kind of sucked too now. Not like uh, the main ones. Uh, like I said, it's not like Ice T's ever really acted. He just says lines. So, but I mean like the new people or the little extra people they have kind of suck at acting too. So even if I fix the script, it wouldn't. What am I talking about? <laughs> I want to finish though. Even if I fix the stri script, it wouldn't fix it if I still bad acting. Anyway, but if you'd asked me if what my dream job was, that's what I would tell you. But when I saw this, I was just like, oh, this is, this is please, please world. So if we can all collectively think positively, it's just such a, it just feels like, oh, absolutely no way will anything come of this. And even if it did, you have to go through so many hurdles to, um, actually end up getting a job again with the government so just a lot of assessments a lot of enhanced background checks a lot of reference thing i don't know i don't know what other people do for references it just feels like i don't want to bug people it's not like your best friends with all your references where you can just hit them up and be like hey do this favor for me please that the referencing is the biggest hurdle that I have that really holds me back with where I'm willing to apply and stuff because it's any kind of government trying to get on like government of Alberta or whatever they have to have multiple multiple references and so, who do I have I don't have anybody I don't have anybody to be reference and they always say we have to have your current employer well I'm unemployed so you could use me as my own reference because of my YouTube channel my current employer is myself on my YouTube so yes, I'll put down my name, and if you ask me questions about myself, depending on my mood, I would probably say pretty good things. <laughs> but other than that, and so then, I thought, well, I got to volunteer to get reference. So I thought I'd volunteer at the Canadian Mental Health Association because I wanted to get on with them, and I was going to go fill out their volunteer forms application. I need a reference just to volunteer, but I needed to volunteer to get reference. So I don't know, that part of it. Just all those little extra things it can be a real Debbie Downer. But I really want this. So yeah, let's all collectively just think positively. But I think the main thing that would be a real game changer for the jobs, number of jobs that actually contact me is learning French. I feel like no matter what, I have to learn French. It's a big deal in Canada. For They want everybody to be bilingual, even... Um, if you're not even going to come in contact with people that speak French. It's some of the simplest, most basic jobs in like Edmonton or my town or whatever. Uh, yeah, you have to be bilingual. I'm not going to even talk to people in French. But it just seems to be a, a requirement, an ever-growing requirement in any job that I see. So I feel like I have to go on a mission to learn French, which is not easy. Uh, it's not easy to learn a second language. Um and so if anybody uh, offers free tutoring, if anybody speaks French and wants to offer me completely free tutoring, <laughs> well, that would be wonderful. But I don't know why anybody would do that because it would take up their time and they're not getting anything for it. Unless they just really think it's fun to teach clueless people uh, a language. But I have started. So here I go. Je m'appelle Jen. Je suis très fatigué aujourd'hui. So, I said I was very tired today. I said my name is Jen. Uh, but, I don't know what people thought of that. I'm certainly nowhere near being able to take uh, benefit phone calls in French. <laughs> Do you imagine? They're like, bonjour. And then that's it. <laughs> no more, I can't help you with anything else you're saying. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the mission that I feel that I need to be on. But it was just for one, this one specific thing. How random. How random is that? I'm not going to find anything this uh, geared towards me ever again. So I still don't really know what to do because I obviously can't put all my eggs in this basket. Pretty much what I've always liked to do in life is put all my eggs into one basket and then wait around. <laughs> that's what I did when I was doing the military. I passed all their, all their stuff. And I just wait around. Um, and it took them eight months. So it's like that's just what I do is here's my eggs. 
Here is one small basket, small, semi-broken basket with limited potential, and that's where all my eggs are going to be held. So, um, well, that's maybe not the best strategy. But this is just something my heart really wants. So have a good day, everybody.